Hey guys, what's up? It's Thursday, I'm thirsty. Let's make the last cocktail from my Mezcaloween shaker and spoon box. All right, we'll start with rimming the glass. I'm using simple syrup to make the edges nice and sticky. We're gonna use this Rim Reaper uh, salt. Don't need too much. Just me here. One and a half ounces of mezcal. Two ounces of this long bottom Virgin Mary, Bloody Mary mix. I'm gonna do a little of this. That is like really good. And it's hard to find a good Bloody Mary mix. That's good. Okay, I got distracted. Now I'm gonna do one ounce of the dill pickle shrub. One quarter ounce of my super lime juice. There it is. All right, it's just a quarter ounce of this. And five to 10 drops of the jalapeno cocktail. Jalapeno cocktail spice. Five to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna move to be a little spicy tonight. Okay, let's give it a shake. Okay, let's go to taste. First, the salt. Definitely has a little spice heat to it. Not crazy. I'm kind of a wimp with spice, so you can trust me when I say this is more salty spicy than spicy. Okay. This is really yummy. I'm not gonna say that if you don't like Bloody Marys, you wouldn't like this, because there's a really nice, like, fruitiness, earthiness to it. Oh, I forgot the dill pickle shrub. That's what I'm getting. I'm like, what is making this so complex? This dill pickle shrub. That is so good. And then the super lime juice. I said last night when I opened this, it tastes more like key lime or smells more like key lime than like your standard lime. So there is definitely like a nice like sweetness in that that you're not like gonna get from a standard lime juice that's just gonna brighten it up. And I feel like that's really popping here. And like I said, this um, long bottom uh, Bloody Mary is also really nice. Like I would keep that in my house um, for Bloody's. <laughs> that's really good. Um, also a big michelada fan, so, but that's baller with a michelada. And I would say the mezcal honestly takes a back seat to all these other complex flavors in a really nice way. It just sort of adds like that nice earthy um, sort of clay taste to it that grounds all these cool, interesting vinegary flavors. This is awesome. This was unexpected. I did not expect to like this cocktail this much. Baller. I can't tell if it's my favorite or not. Maybe I'll have to make all of them again. So anyway, guys, that was my final cocktail. Well, actually not quite because Shaker and Spoon has this new QR code that you can scan for a final cocktail. So maybe I'll do that after I finish this delicious, um, what's the name of this one? Red-Handed Ripper. Thank you, Shaker and Spoon. Thank you, Cork and Knife. Thank you, Del McGuay, for this beautiful bottle of Mezcal. And thank you, Longbottom. You guys are great. I'm gonna look for you. All right, thanks guys, bye.